Welcome on this third video on geothermal air system. After the design and installation parts, here comes the temperature measurement and energy consumption results. Just a reminder, the installation we are talking about is located in France close to Lyon and is realized with two tubes of 20 cm of diameter over 40 m. The tube is installed in between 2.7 m and 1.1 m below ground. For the measurement, we simply installed a temperature sensor 4 meters after the air entrance in the house. See the red point on the air circuit architecture. We compared every week the difference in between this temperature and outside air. As we add these 4 meters of circuit inside the house, we had to correct of approximately 2 degrees Celsius measurements to obtain a better idea of the geothermal only exchange. Here comes a yearly measurement result, where we see the lowest point at plus 11 degrees Celsius in January, going up to plus 20 degrees in August. Clearly, the ground inertia works rather well. During winter, the air is drawn up by the usual ventilation system and preheats slowly in the tubes. Note that the house must be held tight for this to work. The measurements in blue on the bottom you can notice the outside air measures in winter going up to the top violet measures in the house. Certain days in winter the air is up of 17 degrees as in November where the outside air is minus 2 degrees going up to plus 15 after the tube exchange. During intermediate seasons the heat exchange is useless as outside and ground temperature are close to each other. Based on these measures, we calculated the energy saved during winter by the preheating of the airflow coming in the house drawn up by the ventilation system at 100 cubic meter per hour. The thermal 900 kilowatt hour saved are translated into pure electric kilowatt hour or kilowatt hour consumed by more efficient energy heaters like heat pumps to get an economical value from 50 euros to 130 euros per winter with French energy costs. If we look more specifically on the comfort, we indeed feel a warmer air coming in the house than the measures because in between the measurement point and the air blowing point, the air is still preheated on its way by the inside house temperature. See in green on the chart. You can also here see on the thermal camera photo that the air coming in the dining room is at 18 degrees whereas outside it's 4 degrees. Let's now have a look at the summer results where this system is actually the most interesting as we'll use an over ventilation flow during summer at around 700 cubic meter per hour to cool down the house. The measures realized during summer in 2015 in France in Lyon showed that the system is able to cool down the temperature from 37 degrees Celsius outside to 22 degrees Celsius inside at maximum airflow of 700 cubic meter per hour. To be able to calculate the savings during summer we take an hypothesis of 300 hours of use and we estimate that the system is 10 times more efficient than a conventional AC which gives us as a result of approximately 270 kilowatt hour electricity saved with uh, French energy cost corresponding to the amount of approximately 40 euros per summer. Thanks a lot to uh, follow this video and if you are interested just take a look at the other ones on the design and on the installation and as well the maintenance. Thank you.